The saber looks upon the world and sees the same as before. But the world sees the saber and it doesn't look the same as before because Pets 260 is finally here. Yes, the update is here, the, the update is out. And damn, this comes with a big pet snout again. Check it out, here you can see it again. Here it is starting and la di la di la di la di da 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 all the way to here. Damn, that is a lot again. The previous uh, update was also big, but now another big update. And this update should be already here. Last Monday it should be released and then it got pushed back and pushed back and now it is Friday. But it is finally here. But I have also sad news for the console players because your update uh, is pushed back to next week. So you have to wait a little bit longer. So what is this update all about? Well, check the first thing out. It says new Saber model. Let's compare the old model with the new model. Check it out. This looks so brutal, the new one. It looks more evil and mean. Oh, I like it. I really do. It, it Yeah, I, I, I like the, the feel of it. And it, it seems to be that uh, this new one is a little bit uh, thinner at the back part, uh, where the hips are. Do you see that? It, 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 it is a little bit uh, yeah, thinner over there. So it lost some weight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I like the looks. Oh, you did a boop. Yeah, I like it. And let's see the attacks. So the attacks of the normal one. And here you can see the attacks of the new one. Just the same attack. Nothing special. Here you can see me jump. Jump down. And oh, you're scared in your pants. <laughs> you're, you're crapped in your pants. And it is the same, but the, the, when it falls down, it has a different sound. You can see it walking. And walking backwards. So it, it looks a little bit smoother. At least to me it seems to be. And let's see the level up animation. I totally forgot about the level up animation uh, before uh, this change. So sorry for that. I don't have any comparison. But I, I like the level up animation. It looks so cool. Yeah. Yeah. You're a real cool kitty. <laughs> so check it out running. Oh my god. I enjoy this. I enjoy this. It looks so much smoother now. So, so much different than, uh, than what it was before. And it seems... The sounds uh, seems to be also a little bit different, but I'm not sure about that. Um, yeah, I don't have any running sounds as, uh, from before. <laughs> I forgot about that part, but damn, yeah, it looks nice. I like the looks of this new Sabertooth. And this new Sabertooth also comes with some other extras. You can see Jenny says that this one is superior in height and pelt gathering. And it has reduced fall damage. I don't have any comparison with that with the old one. So I cannot say if it is true or not. But yeah, if they say it then uh, I believe it is. <laughs> and uh, one downside I think is that it has not some extra ability. Like uh, for example a raw or anything. That would be way cooler if it could raw. At least, uh, to me, it seems to be that it would be way cooler that it could draw. Oh, sorry, Dodo. <laughs> Alright, time for the next thing on the list. It says the new item, Tech Draw. Powered by the Tech Generator, this draw refrigerates foods and keeps it fresh longer. In order to unlock the Tech Draw, you need to defeat the Megapithecus on Beta. And here you can see what you need for it. You need Alpha Star for it. And Jen already tweeted that this is a mistake. That this isn't supposed to be in a game like this. That uh, yeah, uh, the Alpha stuff is going to go away for the requirement. And other stuff will come in place. For example, uh, the UT Long and that kind of things. So we will have to wait and see what that will be in the future. And here you see me unlocking the Tech Draw by defeating the Mega Viticus on Beta. So now we know it as well. And once you have it unlocked, you can make it in a tech replicator. What you need for it is 45 black pearls, 100 crystal, 50 electronics, 18 element, 900 metal ingots, and 175 polymer. What is the difference between a normal feeding trawl and this one? Well, I want to check if there is any difference in distance as well. So here we have the normal feeding trawl, then we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 on the 10th foundation. This die wolf still getting fed by the feeding trawl, the normal one. And on number 11 it doesn't, so 10 foundations horizontally in the distance. And vertically it is 16, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. This one is still getting fed by the feeding craw and the one above isn't. So that is the distance stuff for the normal feeding craw. And the stuff that you put in the normal feeding craw will spoil four times slower than when you have it in your own inventory. Okay, now we're gonna put this one down. 
And this one needs power. So you can power it up with this one, with the tech generator. As you can see it is powered. And then this one will uh, act like a refrigerator. You can see it, two minutes. And there you have it, three hours and 41 minutes. And let's check what it will give in a refrigerator. So let's put it out and let's put it in. And as you can see, it is the same time. So it acts like a refrigerator, that is nice. And it acts like a feeding trough. Now let's see if the distance is also changed. Well, as you can see here, it hasn't been changed. The top one still doesn't receive any feeding uh, stuff and the bottom one does. And the distance horizontally, I bet, isn't changed also. Nope, it hasn't been changed. No icon over there with the feeding trough. As you can see, you cannot change the radius of the feeding trough, so it is what it is. But it also says that it needs to be powered by the tech generator and then it can refrigerate items. So let's test it out if it only works with the tech generator. So let's put you out, come on. So it is now unpowered. Let's turn this one on. And it is still unpowered. Well, the refrigerator is powered. So there you have it. And something else that they have changed with this update is that you can paint trophy bases and uh, wall mounts now. So uh, yeah, here you can see me uh, trying to paint it before the update. It doesn't work. As you can see, I can uh, paint the thing behind it. So let's test it out now. The update is here. I have one here with an artifact on it. And I can just paint it with my paintbrush. It just changes color in one go. Okay. So you cannot select in anything, the top part or the bottom part. And let's check it out with this one as well. It works the same. How nice is that? But you cannot paint the trophy. <laughs> what do you? What? And you can also paint the trophies. Let's test it out again. Yes. There you see. The trophy is also painted. So I don't know um, if this was possible before the update as well. But I see it now. With this one it doesn't work. It works with this one but not with the artifact. Okay. And they added new drops. Check it out. And here you can see all the new resources. The Giganotosaurus heart. The Spinosaurus seal. The Basilosaurus blubber. The Utyranus lungs. The Allosaurus brain. The Teresino claws. The Silocurio hook claw. The Megalania toxin. The skin of the Sarko. And the Phantom of the Titan Boa. So those are the new goodies that you can harvest. And I think it is nice that they added those goodies, because now you have a reason to kill them, to get those goodies. Another nice thing, it's a small thing that they have added, is placement outline on structures now indicates direction via color chains. Alright, here we are in the game. I have two foundations. I have my uh, uh, walls here, my wooden walls. So let's check it out. What will happen? Ooh, I see it now. See, we have green on this side and... Oh, no, 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 Okay, uh, hello, you. Damn it. You... <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, uh, I'm glad you're here, uh, Neil Saber. <laughs> okay, so, uh, as you can see, the, out the outside is green. And on the inside it looks, yeah, purple. I think it looks uh, kind of purple. So it is nice that they added this, because uh, yeah, sometimes you, you have uh, uh, with some walls and that kind of things, you don't know if the, uh, yeah, what is the inside, what is the outside. With wood, of course, you can uh, clearly see the in, in the outside, but yeah, sometimes you don't see it always perfectly. So uh, this is a nice thing that they have added this. They also say that Ankylo now gathers berries with alternative fire, right mouse button for PC, instead of primary fire. Okay, there we go. Left mouse button. Yeah, I don't get the berries. That's true. So right mouse click. What the? Well, um, I don't know, but right mouse click doesn't work. Maybe I need to do both. Yes. I press now left mouse button and... What the hell? Okay. Uh <laughs> oh. Another thing that is broken with this update. So, uh, 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 yeah, soon that will be patched out, I guess. But, uh, yeah. In the future, when this is uh, patched and fixed, then with alternative fire, you can get a berries. And with the left mouse button with primary fire, uh, you can just get other resources. They say that all land dinos now can attack in water. 
with either primary fire or alternative fire. So let's check it out. I have a frog here and I know the frog isn't uh, a land creature, it is amphibious. But I, I want to check it out if it uh, can do an attack. Because I, I, in my opinion it is silly that this one cannot attack on the water. So we have this on land. Okay. Now let's get in the water. And let's see, what can you do? What? It does something, it makes sounds. Uh, Oh, I, I'm a little bit too fast. Come. Yes! It, it it works on the water, but uh, it, it, it does some kind of bite attack, but it doesn't do, um, do the tongue attack. Yes! Oh, this is so cool! This is so nice that they added this. And I don't know what other land creatures didn't have an attack on the water, but at least now all land creatures have an attack on the water. So that's nice. Oh, something else is nice. Great we reduce the element cost of running the tech generator. I think that is nice. And they remove the element cost for using the tech teleporter. Okay, that is cool. Oh, check this out. We can now fish on the Pelagornis. Let's check it out. Can we really do that? And now, let's see. My fishing rod. Yes, I have it. Okay, now, how do we... Yes, there we go. Oh my god. A whole pot of honey is in the water now. Can we just go to it? Oh, then we lose it. Oh, That's so bad. Oh, there we go. A whole chunk of honey. <laughs> but at least we can fish now on the Pelagonus. I, I think that is nice that they added this. Yes, cool. Oh, check it out. There's, they say that there is a new scorpion saddle. Let's check it out. There we have it. So, if you remember correctly... Um, I don't know. It was round, li like you see here on the picture. It was just a round thingy on top of it. I don't know if I have any picture to compare it with. If I have, then you see it now in your screen. If I don't have it, then <laughs> you don't see it in the screen. But yeah, it looks nice that it now follows the body. Cool, 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 cool. Well, I think that will be it for this video. I've shown you a lot of the uh, stuff that has been changed in the game. And yeah, I really enjoy this saber tooth. Damn, oh my god. And you, go away. <laughs> And if you want to know more about uh, the stuff in the pet's nose, go check them out. The link is in the description so you can see what kind of things have been fixed and changed. Maybe I forgot something important. I, I don't know. There is so many things to, to show and to tell. So I'm sorry if I forgot something important. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Leave any thoughts about the video or whatever in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already and want to see more of me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.